years ago, I was where you are. I was homeless for several years of my life. But I'm tell you what changed me. A word from God and a $20 bill. I'll never forget. A word from God and a $20 bill. Tell you what happened. I was on the streets. I was smelling bad. I was looking bad. And nobody, nobody would give me any you know, like, it's like they won't get you no, give you no attention, none whatsoever, because of your disposition, of the way you look, the way you smell, the way whatever, you know, if you ain't lining up with what they want. And this is what happened. When I was given that $20, I could have did like I normally do, go grab some food and, you know, just kind of do the norm. But God spoke to my heart, and he said, Take that money and change your disposition. And what I did was I went to a store called McCory's at h and Green, downtown Atlanta. That's when you can buy $5 khakis and a $3 shirt. I went in and bought some clothes, some toiletries. I went down to McDonald's across the street from Riches. And um, I remember standing at the face bowl and I was trying to you know, you know how they have them little them faucets that you push the button down and the water come out, yeah. but they pop back up. Don't give you enough chance to just wet no. your hands. <laughs> so I was like, I remember my mom used to tell me when I used to tell my mom, I said, Mom, you know, the dog keep licking out the toilet, you know, and he won't stop. My mama say, leave your dog alone. The toilet in the water is probably the purest toilet in the water in the house because it's, it's recycled. It's, 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 it's filtered all the time. So I remember that. So I said, man, I flushed the toilet five times, made sure there wasn't nothing in it, and I will bathe out of that toilet. I cleaned my whole self. Man, when I left McDonald's that day, I felt good about me. I smelled good. I looked okay. I went right down the street and started asking people if they was hiring. So nobody was hiring. So I went around this corner, and I saw this store called Eddie's and Sons. It was a little store like in the basement, kind of in the cut. I went down there and I asked him for a job. And he said, yeah, I'll put you to work. He introduced me to his manager. I got real tight with his manager, and um, he actually gave me a place to stay and everything. All because I changed my disposition. You see what I'm saying? We have to learn when you're in a situation, you got to learn how to be, you have to learn how to be approachable. You know what I'm saying? Because there's people out there that can help you, but you don't want to give them the wrong perception of you because of the fact that they'll back away and they'll never actually hear what you got to say. They'll never hear your story. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm the CEO of My Heart Entertainment. You know, I got my own record label, I have my own sound company. Hey, all right. you know what I'm saying? I'm retired from my job. Um, I'm a retired federal officer for the FAA, you know. And I mean, man, it's all because when I ask God to come into my life. Everybody searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. 